Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. So today I got Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and uh, first of all, I would like to thanks to the developer who ported this ROM, the One UI 6 Android 14, for the Galaxy Note 10 family. But must be the Exynos one. The One UI 6 ROM will not work on Snapdragon devices of Galaxy Note 10 or Note 10 Plus. So I got Galaxy Note 10 Plus. 5G and I have flashed the ROM One UI 6 Android 14 with the latest features that are coming with the One UI 6. I was shocked after checking all the latest features on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus which I was not even imagining that uh, these features will come and will work on Galaxy Note 10. After all this mobile phone was launched back in 2019 and this mobile phone that I know and you know that cannot be updated further only it can be updated to One UI 4.1 Android 12. But as I said that uh, thanks to the developer who ported the stock firmware ROM from Galaxy S22 Ultra for the Galaxy Note 10 series. Well, I know that those of you who have the Galaxy Note 10 Plus mobile phone or Galaxy Note 10, the Exynos 1, will definitely want to flash this ROM to check the latest features that are coming in One UI 6. So definitely I will bring the tutorial video of uh, flashing the One UI 6 ROM on Galaxy Note 10 series, the Exynos 1. So stay connected with my channel by tapping or clicking the subscribe button tapping the clicking the bell icon or tapping or clicking the select all thank you so much stay connected and stay tuned starting the video will tell you about the rom how the rom one ui 6 is working on galaxy note 10 plus first of all this is the wallpaper and uh, the fingerprint scanner is so perfectly working and uh, the first thing that with the one ui 6 the font will get changed Although this font is uh, not coming default, but it can be it, it it is available on the Galaxy Store. The Samsung Sense. This is the new latest font that uh, will be available on the One UI 6, and we are getting this uh, font on Galaxy Note 10 Plus with One UI 6. Well, this is the about phone screen of my Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Although you can see that the uh, it is showing Galaxy S22 Ultra. As I said before that this ROM is ported from Galaxy S22 Ultra for Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And definitely here we go. One UI 6.0 Android 14. Bizband, if you can see the, uh, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, the Korea variant, the one I have is the model number is N967N976N. And this is the build ROM name, seal ROM 6.21. The icons shape are much better than before. And also the label got change you will see store only there is no more galaxy store the icons theme with having a short labels looking very good now if you see the new layout of the notification panel we are uh, having separately two toggles uh, that wi-fi and bluetooth and the here are where we have more toggles which are in the middle of uh, a middle area of the notification panel the brightness is separated down there and the media control and etc etc so if you tap the wi-fi toggle the toggle will get off and if you uh, tap the font of wi-fi it will go further this one ui 6 airplane mode is uh, become smarter than before like uh, if i tap first on airplane mode uh, both the wi-fi and bluetooth will get off now here if i tap to turn on the bluetooth and also the wi-fi so what it will do like if i go again to the notification panel and if i tap to turn off the airplane mode so the airplane mode is turned off right now if i want to uh, turn on the airplane mode once again you will see that the bluetooth and wi-fi will not uh, 
turn off because I have already turned on both things when the airplane mode was on. So this is called the smart airplane mode and definitely you will like the layout of the new notification bar or new notification panel. Now if I go to the settings and then if I go to the notifications here you can see that uh, sort notifications you can set the notifications by priority or by time let me show you one more thing that if i go to the wi-fi sections and if i tap the three dots here intelligent wi-fi i will tap on it tapping the intelligent wi-fi for five to six or seven times one two three four five six seven laps has already been turned on Going further, you can see connectivity labs. If I tap on it, now here you can see the connectivity labs. The details about the Wi-Fi. This mobile phone was connected with the Wi-Fi and it will show the band also standard and etc. etc. You can check the details here in the connectivity labs. Now this is my favorite feature in One UI 6. We are, we are not having it in One UI 5, but One UI 6 are providing, is providing this feature. What is that? If I tap on any of my picture and if I keep tap or pressing it, the, the, my picture, it will uh, separate the picture from the background. And if you want, you can save as, uh, save as image. So what it will do, it will remove all the background and the picture will be separated. And if you want, you can save this picture as a sticker and you can use this sticker in WhatsApp. And if you want, you can share it on your social media. And if you want, you can copy the picture and uh, further you want to paste in anywhere like changing a background, you can use it. So this is the new feature in One UI 6 and amazingly working on Galaxy Note 10 Plus. One UI 6 is bringing a new feature which is very helpful for everyone. For example, if I want to go, if I want to uh, turn on the camera, front camera, I would like to record a video with the front cam. I do not have to turn on the camera, then going to front, turning on the front camera. I can just set the widgets. Yes, you can set widget on your screen, on your desktop screen, like I have set three widgets. And what are these? The front video camera recorder, the rear camera photo. If I want to take a picture from rear camera, I can go directly by tapping one of my widget that I have set already. If I tap the rear camera will turn on and the photo section will be uh, already will be on so I can just take a picture straight away and if I want to record a video from the front cam I can say I have already set the widget I will tap the widget and the front camera will turn on automatically and directly I can tap the record button to record a video same way rear video recorder from the rear camera just tapping the widget that I have already set here and the rear camera will turn on and uh, just to tap the record button it will start recording now the camera is already on so I will show that uh, the uh, 4, 4k video with uh, 60 frame per second working with the rom and also the full hd hd plus etc etc so we are getting new feature that is called auto blogger if i go to the settings then security and privacy so here you can see that uh, we are having few feature over here and if i tap the auto blocker this is the new feature coming with the one ui 6 turn it on and it will block many many things like getting hack uh, the mobile phone by someone or the commands that can hack the mobile phone it will block more things many things and this feature was not in the previous one ui now in one ui 6 we are having a new feature that is called we can change a lock screen like if i double tap and if I keep tapping the lock screen, it will bring the uh, unlock pattern. I will unlock uh, the screen by unlocking the pattern. And now you can see that I can modify the lock screen. How exactly do that? We will do this. Just tap the clock on the lock screen and a window will pop up you can change the font by selecting one of these and you can select the clock 
that are all that are already provided with the rom like if i want the analog clock you i can set i can tap you and i will select the clock and if i want to go if i want to change it just tap to select which one you like and one more thing i can even uh, change the uh, the size of the lock screen and i can also change the side like if i want to keep the clock to the right side if i want to keep the clock to the left side this is the new feature that brought in one ui6 now there is one more uh, feature in the camera if i go to the camera we'll go to the settings that is called advanced intelligence option if i tap here so what this feature will do like taking a picture by selecting the maximum will take more time by optimizing the picture if i tap the medium it will take little less time and if i select minimum will take more less time to optimize the picture and uh, we are having samsung studio here you can see studio but basically this is samsung studio and you can edit your video you can edit your pictures adding a adding a stickers adding audios etc etc if you want to make a short video for your social media you can edit your video your pictures from the samsung studio so this was a video about uh, the galaxy note 10 plus 5g having the one ui 6 rom and android 14 which is amazingly and perfectly working on this mobile phone now if you want to know how to flash this rom just stay connected with my channel by subscribing it tapping or pressing the bell icon tapping or pressing the select all i will bring the tutorial video very soon thank you so much for watching the video have a good day stay blessed goodbye